Sigma. Sigma. Sigma is gonna feed the beast today. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed the beast. Myself. Myself. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed the beast. Feed the beast. Feed the beast. Well, hello. Welcome back. You know who this is? I fixed my skin. You know where this is? This feed the beast. We in my feed the beast world right here. We're feeding the beast. Ooh, there's another one. Um, so I've been busy as a bee, and I was gonna do some off-camera bee stuff, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring these guys along for this adventure. Let's do that instead. So we've been. This is episode uh, 36. I think I might have said that. We are basically. Tr trying to get some cher hill cherries. I got two, and I was like, "Oh, word! I'm gonna, I better talk to these guys. Let them know what's up, because we want these hill cherry trees. Because I want that hill cherry tree wood for one. But more importantly, I want to build my house out of hill cherry wood. I like how I like the yellow color. I think it'll go good with um, some of the other ideas I got for that for that project up there. So hopefully, you guys enjoy it." Let's see. So we got hill cherry. Oh, it's double hill cherry. We like that. Sap, sap, sappiness, gooey highest. Okay, I think that means that's good. So we got cherry and prunes. Prunes. It's <laughs> funny. Supports prunes. 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 We need the hill cherries for multiple reasons. One, we need the hill cherries for the wood. Two, we need the hill cherries so that we can make the the nut tree the the sweet chestnut and the walnut because with that I can make the oil and with the oil I can make um, the impregnated frames and I can make the elviary which is like the big daddy bee hive now these are these are silver silver lime somethings yeah silver limes and the one next to it are silver limes that produce apples. So, I don't know what the ratio of how many apples, like if this produces a lot of apples, I might take these saplings and put them in my farm. Because like if this guy's pumping out like tons of apples, but I think these like mature and stuff and then you get guaranteed apples or something. I don't know, we'll find out. We'll find out. To increase our apple volume of apples. All right, we'll let these guys do their tree thing. Whoa, sapling, sapling, sapling. I made another one of those like, non-explodey chests for all. Those are my larch wood planks from the mundane larches. That's the lime wood right there. So we got some silver limes out the wazoo. We got some of those, and one of those guys. And these are the good ones. These are the ones that that was the whole reason I was breeding tree breeding, well, initially. Oh no, did that one? Yeah, that crossbred guy kind of poofed. That's okay. That is okay. A-O-K-O-K-O-K-O. -O -K -O -K -O. Here's another guy. Let's steal him. Okay. So. I thought I saw another one. I must have been blinded. Ooh, we got five of those silver limes. Oh, we got nine. Okay. So we have nine of this variety of silver lime. Let's look what they are. So this is just fast, mature. Okay, good. So we're going to take him. And we're going to put the silver limes over here, I think. Um, put three. Let's see if those guys work. Oh, yeah, a bone's not going to work there, guy. We need the bone meal. We need the bone meal to make the tree grow. There's a zombie, and I don't know. Oh, they might be too close together. Yeah, I'm going to move this guy over. We got extra one. We could, we could do that. Nothing else, I get all this sweet wood. Yeah. Let's see if we got any more saplings from these guys. I don't think so. That's okay. And there are no apples either. So these must have to, like, reach a certain level before they produce fruit. Um, which is okay. That was my bad. Let me punch this tree out uh, real quick. And um, we'll get back to the program. 
Oh, I am out of jet fuel. Let me go refuel. Here, I'll show you the way. This is the this is the way that I have designed to get back and forth without going flying outside. I used my other portal. And this is to my I'm gonna set it up so it's like an office. See? Here we go! And this is all fixed up. I've got a little trap door right there. Just because I like doing those kind of things. I think they're fun. These things, yeah, these things are maxed out. And I'm at, yeah, I'm at nine. Ooh, ooh, matter. So let's fill him up. This will take no time at all. Just like, psh. Oh, actually, this is going to take quite a few minutes ish. Take a little bit of time. So we'll go ahead and just magic to the current time. Okay. Now it shouldn't touch. Yeah, we got space. Good, good, good. So we got those guys over there. Now I don't know what the rule is on how close stuff has to be. I don't I don't know that rule. I didn't read those directions. There actually there were no directions. It was just like here you go. Well let's see what these ones are. These are these all identified? Oh yeah, those ones I had. What about these ones? Let's see what these are. Let's analyze these bee these bees. These trees. So these are just normal with low what's what's their deal? Why are they why are they different? Ooh, it supports nuts. But it doesn't give fruit. But it supports nuts. That's good. What did we analyze these? Yeah, we did. What does this support? This just supports cherries. That's okay. We're gonna plant these guys too. Now in order for these to turn into the nuts, they need to get their freak a leak on with the sap these these ones. The silver tree guys. So I'm gonna try him here. Is it touching? Nope, no touching. Look at that. that's actually a really big tree. It's like a star. But I want that wood. That's the wood that I want. Oh that cherry wood. That sweet cherry wood. That cherry wood delicious. Who loves cherry wood? Sigma loves cherry wood. So how many out is this? This is six three? So we go one, two, three. Let's put him right there for now. And hope I don't die. Oh. That works. That works. So now these bees are gonna pollinate these trees. So we got the we got these. Now I could just once once these guys start to change colors. I don't have to worry about trying to get more of those trees. So now let's plant a couple of the silver limes over here too. Because I think it's silver lime. I think I think that's what it said it was I think it said it was silver lime. Is that too close? It's too close. I think it said silver lime hill cherry. Is that too close? Yeah, it's too close. Man, I'm bad at this right now. Fired. Fired from my job as a treer. Look at that, perfect. Perfect. I wonder if I could put one right here. Might cover up the bees though. Let's see two. Well, let's let's see. Let's see how that works. Oh, oh at first I was like, oh that's an ugly looking tree. Didn't work. Cool. Now we got our trees. Our silver our silver limes and our hill cherries. Now I think when those things turn to like the right color, then they'll give me cherries, I think. So let's throw the wood in there. We don't need the wood. Throw the bones. Let's throw the grafters in here. Let's throw the tree elizer in here. Let's throw those saplings. I chopped down that tree that I was gonna build my house around um, up there, and I got a crap ton of saplings. Okay, bees. Oh, he got chopped down. Hillcherry said, suck on that one, cacti. Suck it, cactus. No one likes cactuses. Okay, those are all those bees. Bee Elizer. Let's elize our bees. So what do we, oh, 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 oh. So what do we got in here? We've got cultivated. Stringy comb. One here. These are Imperials, we're just, these guys are just chugga-chugging with themselves, so we're going to leave them be. 
I think this is the same setup. This is just another Imperial thing I've got going for now. Maybe chug a chug all these guys out of there. Where's that honeycomb? There we go. Um, so here's a cultivated. I want to see what he's got because I need some cultivated. Here's the other two cultivated. Now, oh, where's the Imperial Princess? Why didn't I put her back in her cows? So, there's an Imperial in there and an Imperial in there. So let's put the other one here. Let's analyze this stuff because we don't. Yeah, there's double Imperial good. We want to keep. We want to keep it all in the family for now. Okay, so let's dump the Imperial in there. Oh, and I've got a noble princess in here and a me meadow. I almost said majestic. So let's analyze these guys and see what we got. So this is a Dilerant Tolerant. That was the one with the rocks. Cultivated Diligent. So she's okay. What about him? Cultivated Imperial. Mm, we don't like him very much. Cultivated Diligent. So Cultivated Diligent, Cultivated Diligent. So we can slap those two together. And the other princess I had is right there. Okay, let's see what she is. Cult, so Cultivated Diligent. Cultivated Diligent. What are you? Cultivated Diligent? Yeah, how'd I know? Cultivated Diligent? Mm-hmm. Ooh, he's got fast speed. We like that. Cultivated Imperial. Alright, Cultivated Imperial. Sorry. You're getting out of here. Diligent Tolerant. She's one of these guys. Diligent Tolerant, Diligent Tolerant, Diligent Tolerant. She goes up here. So, Cultivated Diligent. Diligent, Diligent. Diligent Tolerant, Diligent Tolerant. Diligent, 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 Diligent Tolerant. Diligent. Diligent, diligent. Normal none. We'll take that guy. So we'll put these guys up here for now. Now these are all bees that I'm working on trying to get towards the... Oh, there's someone in there. Oh, and it's raining. Ooh, which means there might be lightning. So, oh, we got one more set of bees to deal with. Um... Let's take all these guys out of here. I'm trying to get the unweary. And there was a time where I had some unweary bees, and I was like, these are stupid, and I don't want them. I was wrong. I, I, I did want them. They were not stupid. And I wish they would come back to me. Baby, come back. Any type of fool could see. I was wrong. And I just can't live without those bees. Gonna turn off. Or we're gonna at least turn the sound down. Because I want to be able to hear if there's lightning. Or at least see it. I kind of want to turn the rain on. I don't remember how I turned it off. Video settings. Was it details? Or animations? Rain splash. The rain splash is still on, which was bugging me. Um, so maybe I'll turn that off. So it wasn't in detail. Was it details? Water, sky, sun, moon, depth, fog. Oh, let's, let's turn that bad boy on. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we're cooking. There we go. That makes more sense. So now if it f the lightning flashes. I was kind of, it was bugging me that I was just seeing rain droplets. I turned it off actually because I thought it was messing with my settings. But I like the rain. It's been actually raining quite a bit on the east coast as of late. Over here it's been very dry and hot. Actually it hasn't been dry. It's been humid as all can be. Diligent, hardy, hardy, rocky, comb. Tolerant, tolerant. Tarnished. Ooh, tarnished. That's one we want. Yes. Um, hardy, 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 stupid hardy, hardy, resilient, and resilient, resilient. Okay, so let's check out that tarnished bee. What's, what's his deal? So tarnished diligent. Do I have, let's see if I have it on my desktop. Um, I don't think you can see what I'm doing right now. E8, I think. Is, yeah, here we go. Perfect. Okay, so what does this say? So to get the platinum, you need glitter and ender. Was that what I was trying to do? Was I trying to get platinum bees? Maybe. I think that's what I was trying to get, but I don't think I want that anymore. No, I do. 
I want that, and I think I wanted valuable. Glitter Ender gets the valuable. Yeah, we want valuable bees. Okay. So. So. To, so diligent and resilient can mutate into corroded and tarnished. And corroded and tarnished with diligent gets us resolute. And then resolute with noble gets us glitter. And then the glitter and the ender will get us the platinum. So we're trying to get resolute with those tarnished bees. So we are gonna we're gonna hold on to the tarnished bee. And this is our like mutated, you know, there's so many bees in here. Oh, there's, there's, oh, here's some more diligent princesses. I want to see what these are, too. I have, like, bees on bees on bees. Like, you would not believe. So, tarnished is one we want. It's like, trying to, like, so these are mostly hardy and tolerant. Oh, there's a resilient. Resilient, hardy. Uh, resilient. Because the resilients are what we've been trying to get. These are all hardy. These are diligent, tolerant, tolerant, hardy. Res oh, there's resilient. So tarnished. And then these are mu mutations that we don't necessarily, I didn't necessarily want, but I got um, bauxite and then some rusty. Um, I don't know what they do, but I don't want them at this moment in time. So let's I'll analyze our bees. So, resilient, tolerant. So that means I want a hardy, diligent. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. That way it kind of optimizes our chances, I, I, in my head. Wait, was that right? Hardy, diligent? Yep, resilient, tolerant. That way, you know, there's a chance that we get some resilient, and there's a chance that we get some of those mutations that I was looking for. Alright, next on the docket, hardy, resilient, so we want a tolerant, dil oh, a tolerant, diligent, tolerant, tolerant, resilient, hardy, hardy, resilient, resilient, hardy, hardy, diligent, there we go, is that what I said I wanted, no, hardy, resilient, I want, to I want a tolerant of some sort. Resilient, hardy, tolerant. No, because uh, that'll just get me more hardy bees. So tolerant. Where's a tolerant bee? Tolerant, diligent. Boom. There she blows. Resilient, hardy. Hardy, resilient. Okay. This is a very time-consuming process. Um, and there's probably a better way. I'm probably not doing it right, but there's just straight up tolerant. Where do you go? Tolerant, diligent. There we go. I'm using, was it like law of averages or some shit to figure this out? So to, okay, tolerant. What she? She straight up tolerant. So tolerant and hardy. Tolerant and hardy. What does it say? Tolerant plus hardy. Get resilient. Diligent and resilient get us the next stuff. So, if I find someone that, if I find a, a straight up hardy drone, oh, well, a hardy drone, that means it will get resilience out of there. So, hardy, 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 tolerant, there you go. So, let's put him there so I remember where that was. So, tolerant, hardy, and then let's analyze this guy real quick and see what he's got. Hardy, resilient. So, if we found just a straight up resilient, resilient tolerant, so what's that? Hardy resilient, resilient tolerant, yeah, we like those two too. Those two work. So, plop him in there, and her in there, and then her and hardy resilient, resilient tolerant, and him. There we go. Now that should give us some cool stuff. Now, what are these two? That guy's straight up diligent, diligent and rusty. How do you mutate? How do you mutate? Get out of here. And two, so pure, two purebred diligents and diligent rusty. So that means that rusty diligent. Okay, so that guy and this guy probably came from the same breeding. So there's the tarnished. Here's our resilience. 
These are all little diligent bees. These are purebred diligents. There's a resilient drone. Hardy. There's tolerant. Hardy. Hardy. Boom. So there we go. So now we're we're beesing up again. Our bees are doing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Our bees are doing their thing. Whoa, falling down. But I still have a bee. I don't want you in my inventory, bee. Where are you? Oh, these are the purebred ones. Let's see, oh, I'm not gonna remember where they are. And here I'll have to. Look. I'll look every single time. Oh, that's just. There's another diligent princess I got right there. Where's she at? Where's she hiding? Diligent tolerant. Okay. She must have been from this little thing. So, put you up here because you're not. It's not that she's not good. She's just not what I'm looking for right now. I mean, at this moment in time, oh look, these. Oh, these are diligent tolerance too. Yeah. These are from when I was starting to try and get the resilience. Cultivated diligence. Man, bees are confusing. So, let's show you why I'm trying to get those bees. So, I need industrious bees to get pollen, right? Or studious or whatever. Crystalline pollen, phase pollen, unusual pollen. No, we just want pollen. So, the uses for pollen include okay there we go so it's not that stuff I mean it is catalysts well I don't want a catalyst maybe it's, maybe it's how it is we can make a slime ball can I unmake a slime ball into pollen that'd be cool there we go scented panelings I need it for that for one when it takes honey good thing I have honey Coming out the wazoo. Uh, lump of stuff. Created pollen. More lump. Nope. I pretty much need it for these. These scented panelings. Um, to make the alviary. Which is like the big beehive. There, there it is. So you need eight per. And I need an impregnated casing. Which is a is wood logs with seed oil, and I get the seed oil from the trees. Capisci, capisci. So that's why we're doing all this little stuff. So, while that's all working and doing its thing, I've probably been recording for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna start moving this guy. This is my my tree farm. I'm not sure if I should move him over to here where we're keeping all our liquids down there or if I should move that over here. I, sh I don't know what what the, what's better. Having more things in a smaller chunk space or having it spread out. I think I'm going to move that stuff over here cuz let's see what if I go down here see this is my so this is where my tree farm is it's basically right above here and this is this big pit and I put lava down there so I could see what's going on so maybe I'll convert this pit to where the tanks are so I'll move the tanks into here um, for the time being I like that. I think that looks cool. It's like just a little bit of raindrops. And it's not raining there, even though there's an opening, but it's clogged. So it's just like raindrops keep falling on my head. Wonder how far down they'll go if all the way to bed. Rock that would be so cool. Yep, it does. It hits the bed rock from up there. That's dope. Right into a pool of lava. How cool is that? That's like you know, a gift. Oh, and it stopped. Oh, it stopped when I covered it up. Now the rain's... Oh, that's weird. Look. No rain, rain. No rain, rain. No rain, rain. Okay, enough of that. So maybe I will. Maybe I'll move all that, the tanks and stuff over here. Because I'm pretty sure all that stuff... Since I destroyed the, the operation, this has not been going. This thing is probably... Full, yep, of apple juice. 
And this guy is probably full of mulch, so he can't make any more juice. Yep. But he's full of apples. And what do we got in here? Oh my goodness. How the heck did silver limes get stuck over here? That's confusing. I wonder if... I wonder if the trees pollinate all the way over there. Maybe it's better that I don't do that over here. Maybe I should, should move it over there to not mess with the trees. Because that might be in range. Yeah, let's move it over there. I'll move it over here. Okay. So let's clear out my inventory. Oh man, there's dirt. Like a mofo in here. Ooh, and I got another chunk loader. Cool. It's fertilizer. Some pipes. So, I don't need the sign. I can ditch the torches. Throw the empty cell. Oh, let's get rid of the beelizer. Alright, I'm going to get my stuff organized, and I'm going to move some of that stuff, and I'll get get back to you when I'm setting it up. Yeah, okay, be right back. Cha-cha. Okay, so we got that all removed, and we're moving it here. I had to wait and actually let the um, squeezer, or in the fermenter, get their jobs completely done, uh, so I didn't lose out on that. So, oh, I lost that. Is it down here? Here it is, the marble. Um, yeah, the, the, this is my, I set up a still on, right on the outside of the biomass. Um, and that was originally where it was pumping, but I might just make a, a pipe system directly into it. Um, instead of using the tesseract at this point and then move the tesseract from there over to here when I start to pump it into the engines. So, let's go on up, moving on up, moving on up, and let's set this bad boy up. So it's a four, four, it's four by four by four. So I'm gonna need to set one of these up as the power. figure that out now. So we got the gearbox, the hatch, and the, is that a valve? So let's put the valve over here. Let's take that marble and put that back. That's going to bug me if I don't. Okay. So that's not the valve. That is not even the right kind of block. Okay. So, uh, gearbox. That's for power. So let's make sure I make a little indent down here because I need to put the tesseract there. So we need to put our aqueous accumulator. Let's put it over here. So the accumulator. Mm -hmm. uh, where's that duct? You don't have to use a liquid duct. I just like the liquid duct. Farm valve. Mm -hmm. And then water on either side. And that should, yep, that's creating water and it'll fuel water for our guy here. So, let's put I might have need to make move this up one. It's okay. I'll trim it down. I'm trying to think where I want to put the valve. The ha I mean the hatch. Because the hatch needs to go somewhere where we can pump it out. Hmm. Let's put the hatch on this side. Put it right there for now. And I can move this as I see fit. 
Cow, you need to get out of here. I'm gonna fence this in too. I think it'll look cool if I put a fence around it. Now that middle thing should, the third one right here should make a little bar. It's not. Why aren't you making a bar? There it is. Okay, so now it means that we're active. Oh, I need to put a, I need to solder a new socket apparently. I, when I moved it, it I lost what it was doing. Um, which I, I don't know if I really remember how to do that. So we might be in trouble. So, energy tesseract. Let's put you down here. And... Are you on Cory power? I think he's he's running off that Cory, quote-unquote, Cory power. Because that's pump house and he's gone now. So Cory is on below, so yeah, I think that's what that is. Okay, so I need to make a chip. No, it's not chip. What's it called? Saw. I know I still have my soldering iron. It's, it's not sawed. It's soldering iron. God, I don't remember what it is now. What's this chip set called? Um, set. No, it's not chipset. What is it called? Panel, like, microchip? Oh man, this is going to bug me now. I can't think of it. What is it? Socket? Oh, shoot. Circuit board. Circuit board is what I was looking for. Well, we've hit our limit for today. So, episode 37, I'm going to finish up what I was doing. Um, with this circuit board, we're going to get that back going up and we're going to check on our bees and our trees again. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the views. And remember, one thing. Keep on Minecrafting. Minecraft, ha-cha! Thanks for the view. Sigma, like and subscribe. Sigviver, Sigvival, Sigscriber. All day. Minecraft, need to be, need to be, need to be, need to be.